Okay, here we are at the sports show. We're gonna have a walk around and uh, see all the stuff that they got. <laughs> For anybody who's never been here, this is the outdoor expo in Harrisburg in PA. They have it once a year, usually in the first week of February. It's uh, pretty much everything hunting, fishing, shooting related. Here we are at the NRA three gun range that they have set up. They're using airsoft pistols, of course, and rifles here, you can see. But it simulates a regular NRA three gun competition where they would shoot pistol, rifle, and shotgun in a series of timed events. There you go. And they shoot steel plate. So it counts by the number of hits uh, in the shortest time. That's who it's like. Keep going. Here's my daughter shooting a pistol. Seems to got the hang of it pretty quickly. There you go. <laughs> Good job. Keep going. Keep going. You got more. Straight down. Keep the arms out. Put your arms straight down. There you go. It makes it easier to line up those fights. Good shot. Yeah. Good shot. Yeah, you're Good on. shot. Yeah. Here's my mama wife, Demi Lynn, had to shoot an AR-15. Look at her! Yep, married a keeper. Yeah, man, she's showing you. Yeah, she's yeah. hitting the small stuff now. And she's moving targets. Yeah, switching, she, switching. She's moving the targets, too, I mean. Yeah, you, you Here's my son getting in on the AR-15 action here, shooting the steel fights pretty well. Here are some birds of prey that were rescued. Uh, as you can see, the, uh, the owl here has an injured eye. A couple of other birds were injured and rehabilitated. Uh, but I talked to the guy who had to stand here, and he does demos all over the country, and he uses these birds to hunt also. So they are involved in falconry. Uh, and he had, had done demonstrations of you know how they use the birds to hunt. Sometimes they use the birds also with dogs. Uh, he said the owls, though, don't make such good hunters the hawks of course they use for hunting and have done for hundreds and hundreds of years but the owls don't respond too well to that training they, they they tend to do whatever they want to do but they are pretty to look at that's for sure this is in the outfitters hall where they uh, where you can book hunts pretty much to go anywhere you want uh, all over North America, New Zealand, Australia, Africa, of course, a big safari hunting. Uh, all the different states in the U.S. You can hunt exotic game, deer, caribou, moose, elk, whatever you want. Also, as you can see here, some of the stands uh, were from taxidermists, of course. So, you know, they're displaying their work, uh, taxidermy work. And some of it is awesome. You know, they're, they're museum quality mounts. Uh, pretty hard to beat all different types of game uh, they, they, some of them are, were mounted in, in diorama type it's not just a single mount they have multiple mounts in the one uh, some of them like the unicorn here are uh, novelty mounts but they, they look really cool and pretty unusual here's another one where it's a, a jackalope fighting it's pretty cool to see all the different animals from, from all over the world Here you can see some of the exotic mounts, the zebras, and the cougars, and of course the, the sheep and stuff. There's a big mule deer and a ram. Here's some big game from Africa, the leopards. These are magnificent mounts. And when you see it up close, it's like, uh, it's like looking at the real animal. It's so lifelike. Uh, you just can't do it justice with a picture. Uh, they, they really pop. Here's some more from Africa. This was a big stand here where they had uh, some big African mounts. You'll see in a minute there was an elephant mount that they had here. And it was actually a skin mount. It's not a reproduction. This is a beautiful mount with the cougar and the mule deer. The mule deer were actually drinking from a pond. 
and then the, the cougar was sneaking in on top. There's a field, male and female line. There's the elephant mount. I think I need a bigger house for that one. Big tusks on that, big tusks. Here's another leopard, beautiful leopard mount. Very, very realistic. You can only imagine how much a mount like that would cost. Here he is, the Black Death, uh, the African Cape Buffalo. I seen hunts there for this that were up to $15,000. Here's another expensive hunt, the Alaskan Kodiak Bear. Beautiful bear. It was absolutely enormous too. Here's one for the Canadian guys, the wolves. Some really nice wolf mounts. This is a beautiful wolf mount here, a good coat. You can see some of the... That was from Saskatchewan. Uh, here we are with Mike Iconelli, the Bass Pro. Here's some boats, then boats and fishing right equipment here. Fishing. This one is rigged for bow fishing or fishing at night. I guess you could use it for that too. Uh, it had the padded floor. It's made to run in the river. It's real shallow water. It had the light rail on it. it. has a trawler motor in the front, mercury on the back. Here's some of the bass fishing boats here too. Here's an interesting piece of kit. It's a jet motor they use for running in rivers for duck hunting or for fishing in shallow rivers. Also for boat fishing they use it too. It doesn't use a propeller, it uses a jet propulsion. There's no propeller to whack. Of course there are shallow draft boats. You can see here this is like a duck boat. It's all in camo. You put nets and stuff over it. You also use it for uh, river fishing in the shallow rivers. Real nice. It's a real shallow draft for running in the rivers. Be good trapping boat. Here's the big money boats, bass boats. All decked out with the fishing seats, the 154 stroke on the back. Nice. Nitro. Got the metal flight finish. Oh yeah, here we go, fun toys, tracked Argo. Argos that are tracked amphibious, Argo. you'll see this one here is an outboard motor on the back of it. Put an outboard on the back of it, go anywhere. Here's another one in full camo, camo without, the track. without the tracks this time, it just has the eight wheel drive. Uh, more toys for the snow. ATVs and UTVs with snow plows. Here's a nice UTV with the track drive on it and a snow plow. Of course, no NRA show would be complete without some guns. Here's a nice uh, rifle with the Magpul furniture and uh, some new AR rifles coming out. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end, and by Saturday it was time to go.